Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to add a, a row of numbers based on a certain criteria. Now uh, we've learned in the past uh, the sum if function where you will sum a, row, a group of numbers in a range based on the criteria that's in a different column. But here we have it, we're going to total a row across. So here's going to be our criteria. We have a drop down menu here that um, data validation that we can pick from and depending on if this any one of these um, items in column A match that we want to put a total of B to F in this column. So let's try the sum if function. Do equals sum if and our range, well, our range is just one item here. Our criteria is going to be this, and we're going to have to lock that because we don't want it to move as we drag down. And our sum range is going to be this here. So we'll do that, close it, hit enter, and because these don't match, we're not getting any answer. But let's see if we go with Mexico there, and we get 125. Well, the sum of B columns B through F, if you look down here, is 169.60. So what's happening here, the problem with sum if is it only picks up one column. Sum if cannot do multiple columns. It can do multiple rows, but it cannot do multiple columns. I'm just going to copy this down. And again, it does recognize the criteria where there is Mexico. And if I change that to any other country, it'll adjust. But it only grabs the information from the first column because, again, sum if cannot do multiple columns. So what's our alternative? Well. What we're going to use here is sum product equals sum product and sum product basically all sum product does it takes two arrays and multiplies the first times the first second times the second etc and then adds those up so in this case our first array is going to be does this cell equal that cell and again we need to lock that and then multiply that times the sum of this range here. And we close that parentheses, close it again, hit enter, and again, nothing because Mexico, UK, but if I change this to Mexico, boom, we get 169.60. What, what some product is doing here is multiplying this array times this array. This is just the sum of this. This is A2 equaling our pull down, our drop down. And in that case, if it matches, it's going to be true. And true is a 1. So 1 times this sum will give you that number. If it's false, it'll be a 0. So that'll make that 0. If I copy it down, now it gives me the total, the proper total, any place that that criteria is met. If I change it to a different country, boom, it'll move it and provide the um, sum of B through F for that row. And um, again, it'll also do it in column G, but notice again, it's only picking up the first column because the sum if function that we have here cannot deal with multiple columns. So there you have it, sum product being used to add uh, items in a row based on the criteria in a certain column. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's useful to you. If you'd like to see more, please go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and feel free to subscribe to my blog post. Happy Excelling!